So what about in the case of birth defects? Oh, so you're perfect? I will leave a couple links in the description box. Because birth defects are common, costly, and critical conditions that affect one in every 33 babies born in the United States each year. My Bible tells me that all have fallen short of the glory of God. But when nearly all of us seem to carry some kind of mutation in our genes, why does that make you a person that can stand and judge as a defective human being that another defective human being has not the right to live as you do. I'm going to link a drug that was supposed to help prevent pregnant women with such issues as morning sickness, nausea, etc. Unfortunately, it caused birth defects. What was not known right away that this would affect over 10,000 babies and they would be deformed. Though that drug is not in use today, should any woman have the right to use it if she's pregnant? Since she believes it's my body, my right. When you see the picture and see what your thought is. Though it could be hard raising a child that has challenges that are not normally faced by most parents, it's still not a, a justification to deny them the right to life. You know, I know a man who eats, drinks, works, and drives a car, and yet he was born with no arms. What an amazing sight to see, yet to meet one person that would rather not be born than to be born with limitations.